Hello YouTube viewers, Quantum Nerd here. Today I have a little project to show you that will be split into two videos, showing me routing HDMI cables and mounting a display over my soldering station. This part will involve preparing and fastening some HDMI cables and utilizing HDMI splitters and mode switchers. Stay tuned. So the reason for this setup would be because I'm trying to connect a computer uh, to this TV or my soldering station. I could use it for whether I want as far as either connecting a computer to the TV or simply duplicating the signal from my entertainment uh, center t from my splitter to that TV like I have in my kitchen or my bedroom. But there's one problem. In order to do this, I have to run a long cable uh, to this TV. I have to wrap it around my door frame. Yes, I can run the cable right in front of the door and maybe put a carpet over it or tape it down. And yes, that would be a complete easy solution, but it'd also be an utter disaster, whereas I would be tripping over the cable and we don't want that. So what I've come up with is using my staple gun like I have in the past where I've stapled the cable to the bottom of the wall and around the corners is, is where it's needed. It may take up several staples, but it should do the job. And it's not gonna look pretty. I'm not really going for aesthetics, to be honest with you. I'm going for functionality. So at the end of this HDMI cable, I'm gonna add a splitter so that way I can split the signal to my bedroom. And I'm also gonna add a switcher so that I can cycle between either the PC or whatever I'm streaming on the main switch. In the past, you may have seen me solder cables in my videos. I haven't really covered much on this subject because I'm not really a professional in this sense, but I am still learning and I wanna get better at it and I would like to try to produce more content in this fashion. So in order for me to do this, I would need some kind of display or computer at the station. Yes, I could use a laptop and I may go with a laptop. I might do both. I might have a computer that plugs into this uh, TV. That's what the switches will enable me to do to cycle between the laptop or a PC or uh, whatever I'm streaming. It has certainly been a while since I did a recording, at least about a month or so. It's about time I made a video. All right, so I've got the option to do it as low as I can right here or go a little, a little higher, but it will look good. I noticed on the other side over there, I'll put a little clip there, a little trim I did on the previous video, so I always put it on the ground like that. I have to raise it a little bit so the staple goes through. Put one right at this corner right here. And the thing about these staple guns, always make sure that the uh, little, little guide here is uh, for the cable guide that it will line up just right so that when you do staple the wire, you don't staple the wire like I have in the past. No bueno. All right, let's see. And in case you guys are wondering what size staples I'm using, I'll put that link in the description. Whew. Went right in. The thing is about this cable is so thick, you may never know. <laughs> Ah, cobwebs. Let me take care of that first. Bad cobweb, bad. Ugh. Yeah, get that out of there. Ugh. Might hinder us a little bit. There we go. Easy peasy. On this level, I'm probably just gonna do three staples, you know, one left, center, and right. All right, let's do the next one. All right, look straight. All right, here we go. Well, kind of stapled right into that one. So this is what you gotta be careful with. This is why I keep making this mistake. If I'm not careful, you can do something like that. Kind of just went right through it, but easy to fix. Unfortunately, 
I've done this before and didn't seem to enter the wire in the slightest, but you can't do it too many times because it will screw it up eventually. All right, I'll try this again. Make sure that we don't staple the wire more times than we have to. Actually, one, too, one is too many times, but if I'm lucky, I didn't really affect it. Make sure that guide's on there good. Gotta get a good look at this. I'm gonna make sure. Maybe I should be doing it like that. Yeah, flip, the, flip, flip it this way. <laughs> Maybe it's better if I do it the correct way. All right, make sure you're like straight, going in straight into the wall when you staple it. All right, here it goes. Oh, no. Ah, oh, we did it again. All right, it is not easy getting this thing straight. I must be doing something wrong. Please let me know down in the comments with the best way on how to staple this because I am a complete amateur when it comes to stapling wires. All right, let's try this again. Guide shifted a little bit. All right, let's see. Hmm. A little better, but not too good. I'm gonna do the first cable okay. Why can't I do this one? If I do one, you should be able to do the other one, right? All right, let's try this again. Okay. It's on there straight, it looks like. Maybe I shouldn't squeeze it. Oh, I wonder if that's what it was. Don't squeeze the cable when you're, don't press up too hard against it. Maybe that's what's happening here. It's flattening out. Let's try this now. Ah, that's it. <laughs> so you don't want to push up against the cable or the insulation will flatten out and that's why I'm stapling in it. So I'm probably not even hitting the cable, uh, you know, the, the interior core of the, of the cable. Okay, let's see if the next one, if we can do any better. All right, here comes our third staple, y'alls. Yeah, put a third staple right about there. You guys can't see, can you? Please excuse this next uh, staple. You probably won't be able to see me too well. I can't really get a good angle on this with the camera at the moment. I'm in a, I'm like literally against the corner here. All right, let's try this. This should be okay. Yes, I was correct. Even though most of the time I'm not, but at least every now and then the universe gives me one, right? <laughs> I'm gonna do one more staple for good measure on this corner right here so that when I go up the wall, it'll have a good leverage point. Didn't know a stapling could be so fun. All right. Still recording? Yes. All right. Good. All right, here we go. Perfect. Never would have thought it'd be that simple. Oh, then there's the problem, you can't turn it. Damn it! Gotta pull it out. So apparently when you when you when you want to turn a corner going up, you wanna make sure that you staple it sideways rather than you know parallel uh, up and down. So let's try this again. We're gonna try to staple it going up like that. <laughs> All right, this might be difficult because I don't know if I can get a staple in there in this crammed space here. I moved the camera just a little bit so you guys could see better. I'll have to space out the staples just a little bit because you don't want to crunch the cable too close. All right. Then we should get like a little hammer and just like tap it in there a little bit. Might do that a little later. That's how I broke my last phone. I stepped on it when I was trying to reach for something. I just went crunch. That's a Note 10 Plus. You don't want to crunch that. I 
Time for the fifth staple. Stretch it a little bit and then don't push too hard on the, on the staple when you staple it. Uh, all right, I messed that one up. <laughs> this this uh, cable also supplies a signal to my TV in my bedroom. So I'll be essentially duplicating this cable for my soldering station. Be lucky if I break even. I want to put one here because of this, uh, this uh, bezel or something. I don't know what that is. Why they would put that there. I'm gonna get down on my knees. If this cable could talk, it would say, you have no, you have no game, dude. You have no game. Well, you know what? I'm not gonna give up. A little better, but I still hit the insulation. It's definitely difficult to do it in this angle because you gotta put some kind of um, pressure on it. You gotta hold the cable up, and that's what's kicking my butt right now. Maybe one day I'll get out of apartment life and have more room to work with. So help me support the channel by clicking that like button and subscribing, and this way we can keep making more videos more frequently. <laughs> Help me get into that home, guys. I'm counting on you. <laughs> All right, here we go. Get down to business. I can't see shit. Okay, yep, got it. Yeah. This one was Kicking me in the butt. Kicking me in the chicken butt. Finally got it, all right. Sorry, I was so proud of myself I had to show you. Unfortunately, I don't have a, a step ladder. I probably should invest in one. Gotta use this dirty, gromy chair. Let me get some shoes on. Always two steps behind. All right, let's see. We'll do the good shoes today because <laughs> that's the only thing that's available right now. I guess it will be more of a um, studio update than a how-to video, but you know, this will help me in, the, in both areas. Steal the gun. All right. Got this nice riggedy chair from Ikea. It's been sitting out on the back porch for God knows how long. This probably won't end the disaster, but at least you'll catch it all on video, right? Let's pop the camera up just a little bit. All right, there we go. So that you can see my face as I fall. Oh shit. This was probably a bad idea. Oh, I know it's a bad idea. All right. All right, let's see, let's put it about right there. I turned up the strength on this because I don't feel like it's actually clamping the wire properly. I'm gonna bring it down just a little lower. Oh God, this is a bad idea. Okay. I don't even know if I'm on the cable right, but we're gonna find out. Oh man, perfect. It actually went through that time. <laughs> I mean, right on the, on the first try that you haven't seen it that I haven't cut out. No, that would, I wouldn't do that to you guys. All right, next wire. While I'm here. Oh God, this is bad. <laughs> I only weigh about 190 pounds. This chair probably holds 150, but that's okay, because it's only just for a moment. All right, 
I wish I could get this. Can I get as close as I can? No, I can't because this thing's got a thick freaking. Yeah, this this staple is thick. Because we are thick. We do thick things around these parts. All right. Here we go. Looks like it's perfectly lined up. Yep. Ooh, I think I shaved it a little bit. I see a little strand right there. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next one. All right, I'll put it about, I'm probably overcomplicating this for all I know. I like to thank my dad for teaching me how to be handy because I got most of this from him. Thank you, dad. All the mistakes I make are on my own. <clears throat> oh, wow, that could be more off than... Uh, I couldn't even make that more off even if I tried. Wow, I'm way off on that one. How did I do that? All right, let's pull you out. Oh, wow, that was like terrible. What are how many staples I have left? Come on, don't be shy. Okay, my little guide retracted so I had to like un extract it or whatever you call it uh, all right oh my god all right let's do it this way this is more like it I got a better view from this angle and this shouldn't give me any problems oh I kind of nibbled there all right There we go. That went right in. Perfectly aligned. Of course, this cable may not be completely straight up here. It's definitely noticeable on the left right here. You can't see it there, but because of the way the camera is. I'm not really going for looks in this case. I might have to get a wire extender because I'm already kind of close to running out of cable here. But I kind of measured it where I want it. So it's going to a switch or whatever happens after that. I can always add different lengths of cable. No problem. All right. Next staple. Looks good. All right. I can get down to floor level. Ugh. Oh my God, this chair is ready to lose it. Probably don't even need to put that many staples for this one. Put about right here. And then we'll be done. Put it about right here. I could put it as low as maybe about there. All right. Looks good. Looks good. All right. Here we go. Perfect. What we got here is an HDMI splitter that's capable of 4K. This will only split two signals, but I only need two signals to go from my bedroom uh to my soldering station where i'm going to mount my tv right here it needs a power source of about 12 volts it's got here a, a ac adapter capable of producing that voltage for us that will plug right into the knocking down my christmas card that will plug in right into the back of here and it's also got a twist lock right here to hope it to help it um, from coming loose if it ever happens to uh, be jolted or falls. Now I've already tested the cable before I, um, I've already tested the cables. I know I punched it a couple of times and it seems to be working fine. I plugged it into my TV uh, just behind this wall here and it came up fine. So I'm gonna just wrap this around here for now. I can always add another length of cable if I need to. Set it right there. Come around. And I'm going to plug this into the HDMI in. And then I can plug an HDMI out on the first port for the TV right here. That's going to go right here against this wall. And then I'm going to plug it in the second port into the one for my bedroom TV. Just to show you a glimpse where this TV is from my bedroom. It's going to come around here. And it's going to plug into the mounted TV along this wall. And I also have a, a switcher that fell to the ground right here. 
and I can put another source on this. This is also capable of switching 4K. And you can use a little button here that will um, enable me to switch between the, the sources. But I don't predict any uh, switching on, in, on this TV unless I have a different. It, it's just an option if I ever want to put another source here. All right, let's plug in the little. I know I shouldn't have to plug this in right now, this ACMI splitter, but I just want to make sure it turns on so I know if I need to buy a new one. It's been sitting by itself in storage. It's been in storage for quite some time. I'm not sure if it's really working, but we're going to test it to be sure. All right, got a little light right there showing power. I'm not showing any HDMI in. Oh, just came on. It must be a delay just powered on. So I am getting a signal from the entertainment that's over here in my living room. So next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna plug in an ACMI cable from the uh, second out to my bedroom to see if we can get something to come up on that end. All right, got us a cable. I'm gonna plug it into the ACMI out too. I'm gonna bring this around. Test one, two. All right. All right, so I got the TV on right now. And it's right now it's displaying no signal. So now, hopefully when I plug this in, we should get an image from uh, my Chromecast. Keep the camera nice and steady, and I'm gonna plug this HDMI cable into number two right here, and then we should get an image. And there it is. I was watching Linus Tech Tips. <laughs> Looks like a complete success. All right, so although I got an image, I'm still gonna test out the audio. So I'm gonna bring up my one of my videos so that way I won't get copy striked from anyone else's video. I'm not sure how YouTube, YouTube's algorithms play out, but I should be okay. Okay, I'm gonna play one of my studio lighting upgrades. Let's see if we can hear audio through that. Quantum nerd here, and I got a box of new today. Uh, today my All right, I think we got it. All right, that ends this video for today. I will, this is gonna be a two part video. I haven't got the TV yet, and uh, when I do get it in, I will be sure to show you how to mount it onto the wall properly and uh, show you what my plans are for this TV as well. Well, until next time, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please hit that thumbs up and hit that sweet like button if you don't mind. That's the same thing I just said, but that's okay. And hit that subscribe button. So until next time, if you wanna stay alert, hit that subscribe button. And once again, hit that subscribe button. All right, take care. I kind of like it sitting there, gives it a little ambiance.